What's going on guys, Challenger, and today I want to make a video breaking down my personal go-to loadout so far in Season 4. Now it's important to mention that there is plenty of loadouts to use, but in my opinion, as of now, this is a great medium to close range build you can do in Warzone to really utilize two very powerful assault rifles this season in Call of Duty Warzone. Now these two weapons you've probably seen in the thumbnail is going to be the Groza and the Farah, both Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War weapons, and honestly, these just dominate. Now the Groza 4 will be your close quarter option, and the Farah will be your medium to somewhat long range option again you could go some distances with this gun but it does have a bit of a recoil notice when you start going excessive distances so do keep that in mind but pretty much all ars would do that now my favorite weapon in this loadout specifically is the farah now this was a very phenomenally good close quarter weapon to use last season and they did some nerfs to it to tweak its engagement up close and things in that nature but for some reason they decided to buff this weapon i don't know why what the decision went around it but it made this weapon a very dominant if not one of the most dominant or the dominant mid-range choice to use in warzone right now now they have tweaked the mg82 so that isn't as effective it is still pretty good but i do think i'll pick the Farah over the mg82 because one there is no open bolt delay like that has and again you can reload more and the rate of fire is a little bit more sustainable and there's a lot of benefits the Farah has over the mg82 even though i still think it's a very powerful mounting weapon to use so the Farah is definitely one of the weapons you want to use now here on screen is going to be my attachments this is the one i found the most it's a laser like accuracy it really utilizes and dominates in the mid to somewhat long range engagements you will be seeing in warzone and it's just really really deadly it's just i haven't had i guess you could say i haven't had fun using an assault rifle like this how it feels since the m13 now it does hit hard in the m13 it is important to mention that even the, the heydays and the prime time of the m13 this weapon does hit harder than the m13 so it is going to give you some nostalgic vibes and it is just i guess a hybrid of the m13 and m4 feeling i, I i'm trying to compare it to modern warfare weapons because that's the best i can do it just really really hits hard but now if we switch over to a close quarter option this is going to be my groza 4 loadout now this is really really just catered to just being up close and personal a hard to hit jumping and just really devastating up close now it's important to mention that i did notice when using this gun that if i wasn't landing headshots up close and that person had an mp5 or a milano which is apparently really good i gotta check it out myself but milano heads up guys that is a very dominant smg if i wasn't landing headshots with the groza i was really at somewhat of a disadvantage i wasn't losing gunfights but there was times where i slightly lost and me not getting a headshot definitely definitely hurt in that category again it was i only noticed it with the mp5 the cold war mp5 and the milano from cold war as well so do keep in mind that if you really want to devastate the with your maximum potential headshots are the way to go now if you can't get headshots you need to strafe left and right that's why the kgb pad is an attachment i really like utilizing strafing left and right now one thing that is atrocious based on the barrel is hit fire so don't hit fire now you could probably switch this off and make it a little bit more hit fire friendly but this is remember an assault rifle so hit fire is not something you're going to be want to be catering to because it's not an smg naturally the class is not built for a hit fire build so again keep that in mind don't try fucking hit firing because it's going to look hideous and you're probably going to be sp you know spraying and praying like you here seeing on screen it's not the most reliable hit fire in the game but in all guys when it comes to utilizing this loadout here on screen you're gonna want to make sure medium and close range engagements are your friend if you start engaging snipers be sure that they're at least 100 meters away because if you go any further than that i do think the fire is going to suffer a little bit because the recoils the bullet spread specifically for that weapon is noticeable at those ranges but again these are just my opinions these are just my thoughts i was smoking people in plunder and i was smoking people in battle royale but again i footage here is from plunder because you get the most exciting high octane warzone footage based on the warzone statistics that we have in the game so yeah that's all i gotta say on this one let me know what you guys think about this loadout these two weapons i might be doing more videos like this when it comes to just full-on just discussing loadouts and then you guys use them and then gameplay videos on top of that we'll break into we're trying to do uh some new stuff with this uh warzone content stuff but uh yeah with that being said if you guys enjoyed what you heard enjoyed what i said definitely hit that like button helps out the video a lot and if you guys are new here and like what i said like one more content for me whether it's call of duty warzone battlefield 2042 destiny 2 and halo infinite all shooters i all these games i love you know love currently and hopefully will love when they release definitely hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with any content regarding those games so with that being said that's all i got for this one shout out to you here and i'm out